Hey everyone, how you all doing? Blue here, back with our Minecraft Medieval Castle tutorial. So, before we get started today guys, I've just got a few questions I wanted to quickly go over before we get started. So, first of all guys, no, yet again, the castle is not complete. It's not finished, we still got so much more work to do. The series has been slowing down a lot recently, and the reason for that is that I've just been lacking on ideas. We've built a lot of rooms in the castle already and I'm trying not to make things feel repeated throughout the castle. So I'm trying to come up with some fresh ideas and just make things feel a little bit different here and there. Now with that being said, I have got a bunch of ideas for the castle so things should be getting back to a little bit of a better schedule. Uh, so we should have some more castle videos on a bit more of a regular basis. Now, also, I've had a lot of people asking me about updating to 1.16, and guys, we are in 1.16. We've updated the castle. Now, I haven't gone around and changed anything on the castle, and a lot of people keep asking me, am I going to change things now we've got the new blocks from 1.16? And the answer is no, guys. I'm not going to change anything up on the castle. I already make a lot of changes as it is when I come up with new ideas, so the last thing I want to do is start changing more stuff that I don't feel is really necessary. If anything, the only thing we would maybe change is change out some of the iron bars for some chains here and there, but other than that, I don't think we really need to change anything else. Now, with that being said, guys, I think that is enough for the talking. Let's dive in and start doing some work. Okay, we're going to start by heading over to the armory that we've done in the last episode here. And let's just come down to the bottom here. And let's just start by placing in a door in our doorway. Now, we're going to go ahead and first of all, we're going to start work on our tower. We've got the left hand back tower at the top here. So we're going to go ahead and put in a stairway. But before we get in our stairway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to count nine blocks up. So one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine then we want to come over to this center block here break that one and the one above and then that third one and then if we just come on to the outside here let's put an upside down stair there then we're going to go ahead and we're going to break that block there put in a spruce plank and then we're going to place in a spruce plank here two across this side two across this side and then we're just going to add one more layer all the way across Okay, just like this. Now, if we come back down here, we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, making sure that we're right on the center block of these five block walls. And that'll bring us to the center point, which is here. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put a lantern or a torch on top of that for the moment. But let's just get our blocks. And we're going to basically put some blocks surrounding it like this. So that we have a kind of X shape, I guess. And we're going to take that all the way up until we touch the roof at the top there, okay? So let's take all four of these up. Okay, now that we've got those all in place, let's go ahead and get our spruce slabs and we're going to start working the stairway downwards. We're going to work downwards from this platform here so that we make sure that we have got the right connection to this landing. So first of all, we're going to place in a full block just there. Okay, right in that little corner piece and then one and two just here. We're going to place another two just here. Okay, coming down half a block. Then we're going to go two half a block down. Then we're going to go one and two like this and one on this corner here. This one over here is going to be placed in just there. Okay, same level with these ones. Then two just here, two just here, two more just here. And then again, one, two, and then a third one just there, and then one just in there. Then again, we're going to go down, down again, down again. And then again, we're going to go one there, one here, one here, one here. On this point here, we can go ahead, put two there two here and then finally two just here okay and that gives us a nice stairway that's going to lead up to that landing 
Now, let's get our spruce log, and on this side here, I'm going to bring a beam all the way up to the ceiling, just to match up with the opposite side just there, okay? In this gap here, I'm just going to go ahead and put in a slab for the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and put in a lantern just there. Now, let's walk up here, and we're going to come all the way around till we get to the platform. And from the platform here, we're going to continue the same pattern with the stairway. So we're going to go ahead, put a, stair, a slab there, two slabs here, two slabs here, two more slabs just here. Then one, two, three in the corner, and then one against that one. Two here, two here, two here, three in this corner, and one against this one, two, two. And it's just basically a repeating pattern all the way around, okay? Just making sure that when you get to the corners here, you basically do two like this, uh, three like this around the corner, and then one on this side here. And then you just continue with your two stairs like this. And then wrap your corners. Now, let's just keep repeating this until we basically get all the way to the ceiling, which we're very close to now. So let's just finish this last little bit. Okay, at this point here, where we have this main beam here, which I'm going to go ahead and just put a lantern up there for the moment. Where this beam is here, we're going to break one, two, three, four, five, six. Then up here, we're going to break one, two, these two in here, and then these two here. And then we should be able to put two in here and then replace these two with slabs. Okay, so it looks just like this in the corner. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace the log here, like that, so that it comes down. We're going to leave that as a full block there, because if we break it, you'll see it gets seen from the outside there. So keep that as the polish on the side. Grab your smooth, uh, strip smooth spruce logs. Break these ones here, which is where they came up, and we're going to just extend them, be in the center, like this. And again, in here, we're just going to extend these all the way up until we reach the top of the roof, okay? Just till we get to these points here. Now, before we go ahead and finish it up on this side here, guys, let's just make sure we got a lantern on the inside there. And we can go ahead and put a beam like this. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to make a shortcut to get down, you could actually have this open... Break that, break that, and then right down at the bottom here, break the lantern that we placed, and then you won't, it's a little bit unclear. Let's um, do that. We'll break these, no, we won't break those two because they're going to be seen. I don't want to wreck the look of the stairway. So maybe we are make an entrance at the back in here. Break these two here, break that one, break this one in the ground, and then you want to get a bucket of water. Get your bucket of water. And then you can place that just in there like that. If you wanted to, to keep it lit up on the inside so you can see, it's probably a good idea to maybe get yourself a form of lighting. I'm going to go ahead and get the new shroom light. Seems that we haven't used any of our 1.16 blocks yet. And the one just below the water block, we'll replace that like that. This one here, let's go ahead and put an upside down stair. And there we go. We've got a little entrance way there to sort of uh, drop ourselves down to. So if we go all the way up to the top, once you're up here, we can go ahead actually and put in a second log there. Let's do that. And then I think I'm going to just crouch for a minute so I don't fall. And then somewhere in here, we'll go ahead and put in a light just so it's a little bit brighter. And I guess we could just replace that with a, um, with a log. And then maybe we'll just put a couple of those uh, spruce fences at each side. And then we just got a nice quick entrance all the way down to the bottom. Nice and easy like that. Now, let's go ahead and get rid of these lanterns. And what we'll do is we'll get a good spot. So we'll go ahead, we'll put another block there. And then there we go. We'll put one there. Excellent. Right, let's go up here. And as we go up, we want to place a lantern when we get a chance. So... That one's still on a half slab. 
Okay, so a lot of these are going to be half slabs. So what we might just do is if we go up to... Where is our platform? Here is our platform here. So I guess the best thing to actually do here is going to actually just be... Yeah, here we go. So from here, where we have this platform, so we've got the full block underneath here. This is right by the entrance at the bottom. We're going to go two slabs there, and we're just going to basically fill this up like so. Then we put two on these ones, basically just basically doubling up the, the bottoms with slabs. And then do, what happens when we do this is it'll allow us, when we get to this point here, to have a lantern, okay? And we can also do it on this one and also on this one. So as we go around, we've got a good supply of lighting, okay? But like I said, you're going to need to come underneath here and just double up all of your... Um, all of your areas so again from this one you have to just put slabs underneath these ones again that one there these two and just basically do that all the way around and then once you've done it all the way around you can go ahead and put a lantern on every point the way up so then the stairway will have a plenty of light in for whenever you want to sort of come up here so you ain't gonna have to worry about mob spawning or anything like that Okay, now, once you get to the top here, guys, all we're going to do is put in a lantern there. So we're right near the top now, okay? Look, this is where the first lantern was at the very top of the tower. Now we've got one on that side. And every time we get to the edge of the tower, the next point, one of the corners here, we're just going to keep going around and put in another lantern on there. And there we go. we now got a lantern on every point, and that'll keep our stairway nicely lit up. Perfect. Okay, now in the ceiling here, let's go ahead, break these stone blocks out of our way. Oh, that's going to be seen. We don't want that. So let's put in the stone, actually. The ones in here don't matter. We're, gonna, we're not going to see those. And we're going to cover the ceiling anyway, so that's not a big deal. Okay, right. Now, I think at this point here, let's, um, let's work out a bit of this room. So let's get our strip spruce log. And... We want to replicate our doorway that we had on the other side here. So let's bring in a pillar all the way up on this side. Okay, so we're one block from that side. The same on this one. Bring this all the way to the ceiling. One across here, like this. And then on every other block, we're going to do that. And then in the gap, let's go ahead and get our uh, torches as well. If we have some, there we go. So for our torches, guys, just make sure that you keep the little pathway behind or the little area behind. Keep that lit up. Um, we will be using that a little bit later on. So um, make sure you keep it open. And then we're just going to go ahead and put in some of those. Now, in here, I did plan to do another little kind of map room. So the layout for this is going to be we're going to have the wall coming across to about here. We're going to have a block there of the strip spruce logs. Another one just there. That'll give us a four block gap. And then across here, we're going to bring this all the way down to probably about there. And then I guess, in fact, we'll go one shorter. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll place one here, one here, and then one on that corner like that. Okay, and then again, because we've got a little area behind, make sure you light that up. And then I guess what we'll do is we'll have a wall in this little gap here. We could consider adding a doorway there later, but for now, we're going to just leave it as that. And then this corner over here, we just go ahead and fill with our sandstone. And I think we're just going to bring this one all the way up to the top. And I might just extend that wooden pillar in there like that just so it feels like it kind of matches upside down stairs underneath here fences and then lanterns now for this one in here we're gonna do something a bit different so we're gonna fill this wall here and we're gonna fill it up so it's four blocks high so it's in line with the rest of the walls 
pillar in the corner here we're going to take that all the way to the ceiling this pillar here take it all the way to the ceiling making sure it's facing upwards and then same with these three pillars let's bring these all the way up to the ceiling one two and three okay now in this corner here i actually think would be really cool to have another map wall okay we could have a little map room in here so to start off with this wall here i'm going to go ahead and just fill this all the way up to the top just like this okay the part behind it there we'll get back to that a little bit later on but for now let's just go ahead and fill this wall like this this one here we're going to just put a border so let's bring it up this side we'll put two on this side so that it comes out by one like so okay before we neaten up this little corner here guys i think what we're gonna do is let's just finish the rest of this so let's get our beam in all the way down this side here okay now just before i do anything else on the inside here i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna grab some planks and i'm just gonna just place a row of planks all in the top here like this okay just for now then we're gonna go ahead on every other block and put two of our spruce um strip spruce logs and then in the gaps we're going to go ahead and place in our smooth sandstone now on this side here guys we're going to count one two three and then on the fourth one here we're just going to put a row across like this and i think what we'll do is we're actually going to just bring this all the way across we'll actually break that one there we'll have two rows at the top and then one here and then we'll have a four by five wide area here for a map wall so go ahead fill that with glowstone just like that and then you're going to need to put in an item frame on each of the glowstones then you're going to need to fly around and find and uncover all of your map now i'm not going to do that now um, but i will show it at the end once we've done that so we'll go ahead and leave that as it is for now this side over here i think what we'll do is we'll bring a beam all the way across to this one and then at the top here we're just going to just Fill this with our smooth sandstone, just like so. Okay, let's continue with our pattern. And in fact, I think what we can do is break that one and we'll bring a beam down here because we've got enough room to actually have a second beam there. And we can have upside down stairs in between those two. This one here and then one over here as well. Now we haven't got a very large space here but we do have just enough to get in what i wanted to do so let's get our dark oak stairs and we'll also grab some dark oak slabs and we'll start by making a little table let's also grab our dark oak trap doors so first of all where the end of the map boy is here we're going to start by putting an upside down stair there then one here one here one here like so and then just break these first two okay that was just a marker to bring us over then we're going to go one two three slabs and then same on this one and then two upside down stairs here now to keep this table a bit simple we're just going to add two two slabs on this side two on this side right in the middle like this and then of course a single trap door just to make a little seat like this okay now we do have a map wall upstairs but we're gonna go ahead and just mark this one as it is okay right now we've got that all in place now we've got a nice little room here let's just make a little bit more of a decorated area so i guess we could get the beams and we could just bring them across at the very top to the opposite side like this every other block Now, once we get to the corner here, we're going to bring this one over as well to here. And what we're going to do is we're going to... Oh, that's a slab. Let's leave that like that then. Okay, what we do is we do a slab there like that. And then what we do is we put slabs in the gap here. We're also going to do slabs in the rest of these gaps like this. All the way across and continue that through here as well. Now, just to add a little bit more detail here, we're going to place an upside down stair underneath the edge on this side. 
We'll also do the same underneath these ones. We'll leave this one here because it sticks out. Yeah, we'll leave that one there because it sticks out a bit. And then over this side here, we're going to go ahead. I think we're going to get a beam and put a beam across this one here. And then I think we'll change. Let's just put a slab in there and then a full plank in there. And in fact, we're going to put slabs all the way across this one here. Yeah, and that should that should work out perfect. Okay, right, let's get our spruce stairs again. We'll put one there, one there. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of that lantern there. And I think I'm going to actually bring down some more planks there and then just put a beam on this side. Just like so. I'm not sure if it's going to look right if we put two of those there. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I think I'll just leave it as that. Now, let's go ahead. Let's get rid of that. And let's get out our chains. We haven't used those yet. Let's give them a try. So, we've got the chains here and we've got some lanterns. Um, we've got a table just here, which is only a small table. But I think we'll add two chains on that one two chains on this one and we're going to skip this one again and then two chains on that one i think that'll be good and then we'll go ahead and we'll put a lantern on the bottom lantern on the bottom and then a lantern on the bottom of that one yeah i think that will do the job Yeah, I think, I think that works out pretty good, guys. I think we're going to stick with that. Inside here, it is a little bit dark, so maybe we could actually... Hmm, yeah, we can't fit that in because of that. I think what I'm going to do, and I know I change things all the time, guys. I am sorry, but I think we're going to go ahead and just leave this pillar out the way. Make sure you don't break the back of that platform. There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put a item frame there and an item frame there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and put a map on there a little bit later on. Other than that, we're just going to decorate this little area here, maybe with some sea pickles and maybe some turtle eggs. Just some simple little decorations for the table, really. Nothing, nothing too much. Maybe something like that. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll put some maps on these two here. And other than that, guys, I think that just about does it for this little area inside here. Um, I don't know if these lanterns are hanging down too low. I think I might put them up one. Yeah, I think that feels a little bit better. A little bit higher up. Yeah, that definitely feels better. Maybe we could get a little shelf. And maybe we'll put a lantern in the middle. And maybe just something like that, just to decorate the room a little bit. Okay, right. I think that is good enough for the map room. Don't forget to fly around, discover your map, and then lay it out in the right place, guys. It's a little bit tricky, um, but it's doable. It's, it's, not, it's not too complicated to get yourself a map all sorted out. Okay, right, uh, in here, let's just go ahead and put another beam just there. Yeah, that looks better. Right, okay, now into this room here. So if we come over, we did wall this room off here before, if you remember. So we've got a fairly decent area to play with here. Now, I think first thing we're going to do is go ahead, get our sandstone, and we're going to start from this block here and just bring it all the way over in a straight line. Just like this. Making sure you've got some torches behind as well there, guys. Let's bring this up by four blocks. Okay, right. Now, we want to organize this so that we have a good layout. So, we've got the door on that side there. Let's go ahead. We're going to bring a pillar up all the way at each side of the door. So, we have a three block gap between these two pillars. And then, we're just going to join them around about there. Now, I think we're going to have a three block gap over to this corner here. 
So we have a rack there. We're going to have one in this corner here. And that will leave us a four block gap. Then I think we're going to have one in this corner. One in this corner. Like this. And then I think we're going to go one here. One here. And then another one just here. So we got one block with gap between those. Now let's go ahead put a beam all the way around at the same height, which is just the one block above where the smooth sandstone wall is. Make sure it goes all the way around. Just like this. And then we're going to just go ahead and just fill the gaps with the smooth sandstone for the moment. Alright guys, now before you finish up, just make sure you actually come into the gap up the top here. And if you can, just go ahead and put some planks on this level, okay? On top of the wall here. Just put your planks across here. Because we're going to create a little bit of a walkway in here a little bit later on for the king. As a little bit of a secret passageway. So just go ahead, place your planks all the way down. And then at this corner here, let's just let's just leave it there for now. I think that will be fine for the moment. Yep, that seems good. Make sure you add plenty of torches in here as well, so you have plenty of lighting. And then go ahead and then just fill in that last bit of the wall. Now I think here is going to be pretty basic really. So what we're going to do is just place a log, a stripped spruce log coming across from every other block. Just like that. Let's grab our spruce stairs. And then I think we're going to place an upside down one underneath and then a normal one in the gap. Do the same on the opposite side. Yeah, that looks good. Then what I'm going to do here, guys, is going to be a little bit different. We're going to put a chain on each one. But each time, we're just going to move from one side to the next. Go ahead and get your lanterns. And then we're going to go ahead and put the lantern on the bottom of the chain. So we go one there. There. There we go. So we've got a bit of a zigzaggy light pan. Okay, right, let's get our dark oak stairs again. And across this one here, we're going to put a stair there, stair there, two in the middle. We're going to do the same against this one. So one there, one in the middle, one there, one there, two in the middle. And then one there, one there, and one in the middle there. Okay, right, now it's time to start with some decorating, guys. So let's get out the armor stands. We're going to get some chests as well. We've got our item frames. Let's grab just a couple of weapons as markers for the minute. So let's get some iron swords, maybe some bows, some arrows. We'll come back to the armor and that in a minute. Um, and I think maybe some axes. Okay, so first of all, put some armor stands across this. We'll put some armor stands across here. And we're going to put some in this gap and then this gap over here as well, okay? Chest, we're going to go one, two, three in the gaps here. And then three in this gap over here. Go ahead, get your, strip, uh, your spruce stairs. Upside down one at each side here. And again on these ones here. So that we have a sort of a nice little arch shape. 
in the gaps here we're going to put some upside down ones above these ones and then just one in the corner on this side and then one there okay let's get rid of the torches as well we don't need those now now in here guys i thought it'd be good to lay out armors in different sections so let's start with some of the new stuff let's get some of the never right armor achievement unlocked okay so let's put the elite over here this is going to be for the tough guys for the big guys the high ranks with the best armor so we're going to go ahead and put the never right stuff over here just like so now turning around here we're going to put in some different stuff so let's start with the iron so again, for the iron here, this is going to be for some of the just the general guards, you know, just the, you know, just the average, the average Joe, I guess. Let's go ahead, put some on here. We'll go ahead, put the chest plates, leggings, and the boots. And then, of course, guys, we're going to add some diamond and then some gold as well. So go ahead and do that, and just kind of. You know, put, lay it out as you please. But I just think section and it just kind of makes it look a little bit neater and a bit more organized so that the soldiers can find the right gear. All right, guys, there we go. So now let's go ahead and get ourselves a spruce door. So we've got ourselves a door. And we also want to get ourselves a couple of fences and our lanterns again. So let's just go back down to our lanterns. Okay, so I think I'm just going to put a couple of fences at each side here. We'll put in two lanterns, our doorway just in there. And we've got our stair above already. So there we go. And there we go. I think we've got a nice little room here. I really like this, you know, a little little sort of room for all of the uh, storage and stuff. Now, one thing we want to do is label up some boxes here. So let's put some item frames on these. Uh, maybe this one here as well. And let's say we can put like swords. You can even use different swords here, but I'm just putting three. You could put like a iron a diamond and a never right sword it's up to you let's put some bows and then we'll hang some arrows in this one maybe this side over here we'll do swords then bows and then some arrows like this you know nice and simple nothing nothing too much here i think you know, this keeping this kind of looking simple makes it just feel nicer. When you try and cramp stuff up and do too much, it just starts to feel a little bit messy. But this, I think this looks good. Okay, if you want to lay down a bit of carpet, guys, you can do. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it. Actually, do you know what? Sod it. Let's just put in a little bit of green carpet. Let's add just a little bit of green carpet. Now, I'm not going to do a neat rug. I know a lot of people like doing rugs like this. You can do it neat if you want, but I just prefer making something a little bit kind of messy. So, maybe, oops, maybe something a bit like that, maybe. I just, I don't know, I like the messy look, like it looks a little bit rough in it, like it's been trampled over and it's ruined some of the carpet. I like the look of it. But guys, I think that is about it for this little room here. I think that is plenty. Okay, right, now this room here, again, we, we want this to look like it's being used by the soldiers. So again, we're going to go ahead here and we're going to put three of our armor stands there. we we'll put one there. We're going to put one in this one, one in this one, one on this gap here. we we'll put two in this gap here. Yeah, and I think that should do for the moment. Let's go ahead and we can put in maybe a couple of lanterns for that one. 
and the rest should already have lanterns, which they do. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get again our chests because we're going to put them by the sides. We're going to grab ourselves also some of the barrels. And that should do for the moment. So I think here, let's get rid of that one and let's get rid of that one. And hmm, we'd have to put two lanterns to, together for it to look right. Over this side here, we're going to put a chest at each side. Chest at each side. Same in here, here, and also in here. Yeah, that's looking good. Now the barrels here, guys, behind if you want, you can just fill with some normal blocks. But what I'm going to do is just go ahead. I'm going to just crouch and I'm going to place the barrels against each other. Still, we come out here by one. And then once we get to this one, I'm going to turn it so that we get a different angle. Then I'm going to do the same thing again, but just bringing it over a little bit. Let's bring that one there. And then we're going to crouch place one upwards. Maybe one like that. Just so that they kind of feel like they're actually being placed in different angles and they don't feel like they've been organized or anything. And then if we put one more up here. In fact, let's go ahead, get rid of that one, that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so we've got some barrels in there for some storage. Go ahead, and I, what I would do is I would get maybe two different armors. I would get the Neverite stuff. So let's get the Neverite armor. And then we'll also get some iron armor. So I would just put maybe never right on these ones here just purely for the uh for the elite gods now guys i know this sort of armor is really tough to get hold of so if you're playing in survival i would just suggest putting either some iron or uh, maybe some leather armor it's entirely up to you um it depends how rich you are in game i guess but just go ahead and put some armor on these statues on the outside as well um but I just think maybe if you have some diamond, maybe put diamond there. Just so it looks like you've got some different armors that are ready for the uh, for some of the sort of big soldiers. Alright guys, that looks pretty good. I think we're going to go ahead and add another table in here. One that's going to be a little bit larger than the one we've done in the other room. So let's go ahead and get our dark oak slabs again. Okay, now that's all in place, let's go ahead and just get in a few more lights first of all, I think. In the middle here, on this middle row, I'm going to place an, maybe two. How far down does it go? We just uh, Let's keep it at one. We'll put one chain there, which is a one block gap there. Then we're going to put one on this side, leaving a one block gap again. Then I think we should have a middle block roughly, which would be one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. So maybe we could go one there, one there. There we go. And then we should be able to just put in a lantern on the bottom of each one of those. There we go. This just has a little bit of a brighter spot through the middle of the room. Now, as for a table, I think what we'll do is where this one is here, this beam here. So we've got a stairway, the one on the inside here. Go one, two, three, four, and then break these ones here. Let's put one sideways there, do another one here, and then one here, and break the one in the middle for now. Then we put in a slab there, one, two, three. So we've got one slab here, we're gonna go two, three, four, five. Bring these ones over as well. One slab in the middle, two upside down stairs at each end like this. Then one, two, three chairs on this side. One, two, three chairs on this side. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and get in our dark oak um, trap doors. And again, we just got like a little table here, which is going to be just for like, um, you know, like maybe planning wars or strategy or something. We're in the armory, so it makes sense to have some kind of use for this little area. Let's add a couple of flower pots in the center here. 
Maybe we could even just put in a couple of these. Something like that. Maybe even a couple of eggs as well. Just for that little bit of extra decoration. Something like that. And again, on the item frames, go ahead and put a little map in there. If you've got a map for part of your kingdom, go ahead and put one in on there. Okay, right. That is looking pretty good, guys. One thing that I will do, which I always do everywhere, guys, and I think it just always looks nice, is get yourself some maybe acacia leaves and some spruce fences. And we're going to go ahead and actually, we're going to also get ourselves some composters but they seem to have been moved in 116 they used to be on here so where are they put now ah they're in the decoration blocks now okay well that's easier right so first of all we could go ahead maybe put in a composter here with a couple of leaves maybe one here and one here Yeah, something like that. And then what we're going to do is on the ceiling is... Now, you don't have to do too much of this, guys. And you haven't got to do any if you don't want to. But I like to do it is now and again, just break a trap door. Maybe dangle just a few sort of leaves around. Maybe like that, like a little patch. And then you can just go ahead and you can put like a fence post in here. Maybe even one up here. One underneath there like that. Just like a little kind of, just a little flower point in the ceiling. I don't know. I just like the way it looks. And I just add a few of them in here. Maybe two or three sort of little bunches. So again, we're going to do one over here. And then again, just go ahead, maybe do something kind of along those lines. Just a few little fences. See, we don't need too much of it, just a couple. And I think one more somewhere around here. So maybe we'll do one here. Maybe we could dangle this one just up over this way a little bit so oh, we don't want to go there because we're going to end up being joined up with that one so maybe we just um hmm, we'll finish it there and then of course like i said guys just add in a couple more of your fences There we go. See, I just think it just adds a bit of color in here, breaks everything up, and I don't know. I think it looks really nice. I like it. Okay, once you've done that, guys, I think that is pretty much done with this little bit of the area here. Um, again, don't forget to come over here. Maybe get yourself a few barrels, and you can just add a little bit of storage in here. Now, if you are using this little area here, make sure you don't cover that in because you want to make sure you can still access all of the area. So maybe just something kind of like this. Maybe just put a couple of these around just as a form of decoration or something. Yeah, I think that is good. If you wanted to, you could always add some more planks, some upside down stairs, just put a couple of doors there. So it looks like it's just like a little cupboard or something. Um, but yeah, guys, I think this is looking pretty good. Again, in here, guys, if you want to do the same thing in the ceiling, go ahead and do so. Um, just make sure that you kind of just make it look like it's natural. And there we go, guys. I think that finishes off this little room here. And I think it's looking pretty good. All right, guys. This one's looking pretty good now. I think we're going to start with the stairway now. So if we come over to this corner here, first of all, in this little gap here, by the side here, this guy put some, maybe some stone in there. Maybe throw in a few stone bricks. 
something like that just to make it blend in with the rest of the walls now when we go over to here we've got a three block wall here i've got a corner block and then three block wall and a corner block so basically if we put two blocks here and two blocks here from the middle this block here is going to be the center point for the tower so we're going to get these strip spruce logs we're going to bring it up a few blocks here then break that one above it there and then there's a second block so we're going to go ahead and break that one there as well and if we're careful we can come through that gap there let's just for now break one two three four five six seven eight and we'll go ahead and break the next ones down as well like that bring this pillar all the way up to the ceiling okay just like this now this little doorway here leads into the feast hall so we're going to come back and put in a door just there okay so if there was any problems while the king was having his meal he could come through this door here and head straight down into the um web into the armory where he could get some weapons and get himself somewhere safe okay right so from this point here i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the stairway so let's go two blocks down here and these blocks as well sorry one block down um from here and then i think we'll break that one there as well we're then gonna put in two slabs just there and we'll put another slab just in there so we're kind of just angling it for the minute in here we're going to bring this one down another half a block like this and then we're also going to put another one just in there like that and in fact you know what i'm going to get rid of those there because i think what we could do here yeah i've got a better idea let's break that block there um and we're going to make the bone blocks here we're going to bring them oh wow that's a new sound isn't it Mojang has changed some of the sounds. <laughs> yeah, that sounds really weird. Okay, uh, let's get the strip spruce log. And where the floor level is here, we're going to go up by one block. Okay, so we come across there. And then we just fill those ones in. I can't get used to that sound. That is really weird. And then another bone block on that side there. And then this side, we're just going to break those ones there for the minute. And we're just going to get rid of these ones here. Then one's there. Let's put in some slab. No, not four blocks. We want the slabs. Some slabs underneath there like that. Okay, so I think if we put in a slab there, so we could use... Yeah, so we can come in here. I think this one here can come up to floor level. And we just put in a fence there and a fence there for the minute. So we can come in here, we've got this block here, then we can go slab there, we'll have a four block there and then a four block just there. And then we're just going to just work it down and round, so put two blocks here, two and then one on the corner, two blocks in there. I think this would be considered a corner like this. Yeah, because we'd have this one over here. So let's just bring this stone block up here so we don't confuse ourselves. And then we'll just put some in the back here as well for now. Then slabs again. Then again here, we're going to put one there, one there. And then we'll just put one here, one here. Okay. Then we come down and round to this point. And it's kind of a repeated pattern. The corner just goes around the corner with three. And then the others are just two. So it's literally corner, then one. Corner, then one. Corner, and then there we go. So now we can come over to this point here. Walk all the way around. And we're up here. So at this point now, guys, we're going to come around to the back here. And what we're going to actually do is put in a, a uh, upside down stair just there, which is on the floor level. Okay. Now, this block here sits underneath the stone. So let's just bring that stone all the way down like that. And then I think...
Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to break these two here for a minute. This one here, we're going to bring that pillar all the way down. Oh, no, that stops there. So what we do, actually, break those two. Wrap the stairs upside down there. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And then what we do is we get that one there. We put in a slab like that. And then I think for the wall over here, we're going to bring the smooth sandstone. And we're just going to just bring it all the way up. Now, at this point here, because we've got that one block there, let's just get rid of those blocks there. And then we can just fill those ones in there. And then bring it over to here. Uh, it's a little bit all good sometimes to see here, guys, because we're a little bit cramped. Um, so if you have any problems, just um, pause the video um, or slow it down. There's a button where you can slow it down in the corner to make it half the speed. Okay. Now, we're going to get rid of those two there and actually put them onto these ones instead. So that stops anyone from being able to fall over the edge there. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that one and we'll go ahead and throw in another slab, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, right, that works and that brings us all the way down. So now we just got to cover the corner in here, uh, making sure that it looks right. So let's get rid of that one there. We can fill that there. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put another one of these beams in here. Then we've got the stairway there. I think what we might just do is, um, hmm, I think I'm going to put a block on that corner there. Then I think I'm going to bring a beam across just here. Is there a hole behind there? Yeah, there is. Okay, so in here, we're putting some stone. You can mix up the stone bricks as well so that it feels a little bit more sort of fitting. Something like that. Then here, we're going to just bring this piece across like so. We'll bring a pillar up on this bit here. A pillar in the corner here get your smooth sandstone and then you can fill those two in just there and then I just think maybe we just do that we'll put some of the spruce fences up in that gap there yeah and I think that will work now we are gonna need to add a bit of lighting in here because it is very dark so we put a lantern just here we've got a little bit of area here for some storage we come up the stairway here. Should be able to get a lantern there as well, which adds another bit of light. And then I guess. Once we get up here, let's get rid of that torch there. And I think what we'll do is we can put in a lantern right about there. Get rid of that one there and for the ceiling here i'm gonna just add one more layer of the spruce planks into the ceiling i do apologize if it's a bit dark guys but just basically add one layer of planks into the ceiling then where we've got our stairway down here i guess roughly just somewhere in the middle add yourself a couple of chains maybe three of them and then get yourself your lantern and place the lantern just in the middle. Yeah, I think that will work. In here, we could just add in a few chests. Just like for some emergency supplies for the king if he needs it. In case the castle gets raided or something. So something maybe a bit like that. So then the king could come running down here and he can come running straight into the armory down here under the stairs let's go ahead and put in a little bit of decoration again so we'll go ahead with our barrels and chests maybe and we can go ahead maybe just put a few of the barrels in here Oh, 
something like that maybe maybe we could put a chest there and a chest in there yeah something kind of like that just a little bit of storage and there we go guys i think that is actually turned out nicer than i thought i did have a lot of this all pre-planned out but you know i always plan like 50 50 for these kind of builds because I never know if I'm going to see something else while I'm building that gives me a better idea. So I always kind of, I plan most of the build out that I'm going to do for the tutorial. Um, but I also always leave a little bit of space for me to kind of play with along the way. So if I ever seem a bit indecisive in the video, it's just because I'm debating on whether to change something that I've already built. Right guys, I think that's going to do for today. We've got all of this room here done. Um, I think one last thing actually just to quickly do is to lay a little bit of carpet in here. I'm going to go with the green again. I think it just looks right. Some of the other colors are a little bit too vibrant for my liking. So I like to go with something a little bit more dull, uh, especially considering for a medieval build. And we're going to just make a little bit of a roughed up kind of kind of rug it's not really a rug it's kind of just more like worn away carpet something like this maybe we could put one like that yeah something a bit like that maybe we just extend it over this way a little bit yeah something a bit like that now, I know a lot of you guys don't like messy carpets, but for medieval, I just feel like it fits right. So if you guys don't want to make it messy, feel free to add a nice little neat rug. It's entirely up to you guys, but I like the look of the messy stuff. So I like to add a little bit of it here and there. All right, guys. So other than that, I think that is about it for the armory here. So we've got our stairway that goes all the way up to our tower. In fact, before we finish up, guys, let's head to the very top of the tower. And let's just put in a few lanterns because I believe it's going to actually be pretty dark at the top here. So let's get to the top here. And as you can see, we've got this bit here. Let's go ahead. Let's break these. And what we'll do is we'll put in some stone brick stairs. So stone brick stairs. There we go. And we'll put in one, two, three, and four just in there. That just finishes that a bit nicer. Over this side, we'll do the same for these three. And then I think what we do is round the back here, we're going to go ahead and get in probably our spruce trap doors, I think, for this one. And one there. There we go. I think that looks really cool. That's got a nice little entrance there. And we've got our quick sort of little exit down there as well. Um, we could put one of those there just in case so you, like, so you don't accidentally fall. Um, and you can just open it as you please um right okay i guess what we could do is put a lantern in there or we could try and put one in here with a couple of bits of um, a couple of our chains and one and two and then we should be able to get one more on this side There we go. All right, guys, I think that is looking awesome. I'm really happy with that. So like I said before, guys, there's still loads more work to do, but I am, oh, we nearly forgot. On this little bit here, we've got a little doorway that comes out to this little edge here. So what I'm gonna just do is place a spruce door from the inside. Then I think for the outside here, I'm just going to make a little kind of entrance, just a simple one. So we're going to get some spruce uh, fences and some spruce slabs. And I think we're just going to put two of those at each side like that. And then slab, slab and a slab. Yeah, just to make a little doorway. There we go. Alright guys, so yeah, if you guys have any ideas for other things that you would like to do, don't forget to go ahead and put your maps on the wall and on your tables as well. But I think this has turned out to a pretty cool little armory. I like it. It's spacious, but I think it fits well with the castle and with what we have. 
all right guys well i think we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up just there so as always thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy it don't forget to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time i post a new video but for now this is blue nose signing out and i will catch you guys in the next one